Hello, I came across this bar wave animation, and there are a few things I want to show you here in order to reduce the code because the code you don't write, you don't have to modify and you don't have to debug and all of that. So first off, the first thing that caught my attention was this O animation. Now, this is supposed to be for Opera Presto from back when Opera was in basically Chrome. Uh, but the thing is, Opera back in those days implemented animations directly unprefixed. So O animation was never ever needed. Now, Moz animation was needed for a while, but it hasn't been needed since 2012. We're in 2019, so that's seven years. I guess it's pretty safe to drop it. Okay, now WebKit animation is still needed for BlackBerry, whoever uses that, but there's a better way than just writing stuff, than just putting stuff manually into your code. So just take it out of there and you can use either this or this. They both work just as well in this case. Okay, so just remove it from there. And also we have these two right here. So um, remove those as well. Now, something else I want to show you uh, here. This uh, animation, the whole thing, uh, gets repeated for every element. So for every nth of type. So here I'm going to have nth of type 1, nth of type 2, and so on. And for each and every one of these, we're going to have animation flow 1,000, 500 milliseconds, blah, 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 and all of this. And the only thing that's different is this delay. So what we can do to avoid all this repetition. And of course, it's just repeated in the generated code, but if we can avoid that, why not do it? So uh, just uh, take that, and you can just write 1.5. 1, 1. Um, okay, so here just leave animation delay and remove everything else but the delay. Now, something else here about this uh, delay. Um, in this case, you're not running into any problems, but if you're doing this, you're transforming the whole thing into a string. So that, whatever value it is, seconds, that's a string for SAS. So you could run into trouble because of that. So just leave it a number. And the way you do that, you just multiply with one second here and you don't need to interpolate it. Okay, and this works just as fine. Or even better, you can just um, multiply and just do it like this. So, um, yeah, but even better, you can avoid having this loop because, let me show you one thing. This is the number of items. And this is again the number of items. You're setting it here, and then you're setting it here again. If you're changing it in one place, you have to change it in the other place as well. So in order to avoid that, just set it once. So here, do something like style uh, and, or even better, do something like uh, here, root, Okay, uh, and here you can simplify this. Just just do it like this. And uh, and here you set style. Okay, and now you can just use calc right here. So you're going to have times Sorry, I. Okay, and you can just get rid of this whole loop right here. Okay, for some reason. Oh, I, sorry, not N. Okay, and it starts from the other end. So um, this means you can do something like this. Or you can just uh, take this out, 
you just uh, have the minus in front and you don't have that gap in between uh, the page loads and the start of the animation. Okay, now having done this, let's see what else we can uh, take out. Uh, you don't need display block on a div because it's display block by default. Uh, we can take out that item count from there. Okay, now something uh, else here. Uh, you don't need both display block and position absolute. So you can easily take uh, position uh, absolute out and take width because you've set display block. Um, oh yeah, item count. So here you're just going to uh, replace it with N. Okay, now having done this, uh, one more thing I want to show you here. Here is the margin. And I suppose this auto pushes it to the bottom because one thing I want to show you here, uh, there's uh, an align items center. So that margin just, oh, sorry. Uh, let me think. Yeah, align does that. Okay, um, so this pushes it, uh, pushes the bars to the bottom, uh, and this uh, creates a right margin. And I'm not really sure why do it this way, why not include it right here, so you can have something like 100% minus, uh, and here you're going to have um, N minus 1 if you just want to have uh, that gap in between them, times five pixels, which is going to be the gap. And just to remove that. Um, and here, this um, justify, you just do it, uh, space between, and this, you're just going to put it at flex end. Okay, now having done this, um, this is going to be like that by default. Flex direction row is the default. You don't need to set it again. Now here you don't need overflow hidden on the HTML body if you've set it on the main. Um, and also you don't need uh, to set the width and the height if you set them uh, on the main. Actually you don't need the width uh, anyway. And you don't need the height if you set it on the main. And you don't need to set the stuff on the body. And even better, you can just remove the main altogether. I mean, you may need it in some cases, but here you don't. So you can just remove it. So, like this. Uh, and this still, still works just fine. Okay, uh, one more thing I want to show you. In SAS, you can just uh, use red there. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, if it's zero, you don't need uh, the units. Now, here, you don't need to explicit, explicitly write both the from and uh, the two keyframes. If one is not um, in there, it just gets automatically generated. So, um, let's just uh, put it right here. And this border color, you can put it directly here. And uh, again, I'll transform. Oh, yeah, just uh, take that out altogether. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm not really sure what that border is used for, except maybe creating some sort of 3D effect. But I'd really recommend if you want 3D and you're actually going to use 3D as you are doing in this case, just do real 3D, do, don't try to half emulate it with 3D and half with 2D as it's done here. And uh, if you want to learn more about how to do cubes and other 3D shapes, I have a bunch of videos on those. I'll be linking them in the description. I wrote a very detailed article on how to do a cube with modern CSS techniques and I'll link that up too. Anyway, if you got all the way up to here, Thank you for watching, and if you want to support my work, make me happy, you can get me something off my Amazon wishlist. In any event, thanks for watching.